Today I'm going to explain to you how you can start investing in the stock market from Europe. And I'm going to do it by guiding you step by step from the very first thing you need to do, which is opening a brokerage account. Now, most of my viewers are from the US, but a couple of weeks back I received a comment from Reda, which asked me specifically for this, so I hope this can be helpful to all my European friends here. Before jumping into how to actually sign up to a brokerage account and start investing, I want to clarify some doubts that in my experience, everyone has in the beginning. To do this, I'm gonna give you an overview of the main brokerage accounts in Europe. I'm gonna to explain to you how the whole process of purchasing stocks works. I'm gonna tell you about their fees, their advantages and disadvantages. And we're also gonna answer some questions that are usually not covered in the internet, but I'm sure many of you have thought about them. Like, can I change broker easily and transfer my investments to another one if I'm unhappy? Or what happens to my investments and my cash if the brokerage firm goes bankrupt? After this, I will go through the setup of the account with one of these brokers. And basically, whatever broker you choose will work pretty much in the same way. But if you're interested in a detailed explanation of any of the other brokers that I mentioned here in this video, just drop me a comment down there. And if there's enough interest, I will make a video about it. Now, first of all, what is a broker? A broker is an individual or a firm that acts as an intermediary between an investor and a securities exchange. So if you want to purchase a share of a company, a so-called stock, you need to purchase it from a security exchange, which is nothing more than a digital market where brokers and traders can buy and sell securities like stocks. But since you are not a member of this exchange, you can't directly buy it there. Instead, you have to use a registered broker to do it for you. So there are these companies which are the so-called brokers, that register themselves in the stock exchanges and create a trading or investing platform for you, like an app or a website, with which you can buy and sell stocks in those exchanges. In return, the broker will usually gets something from you, for example, a fee for every transaction or a membership fee. So now that we clarified what a broker is, we need to choose one and learn how to use it. If you Google best brokerage accounts for Europe or best trading platforms, usually you're gonna find the same names and on the top, you usually have interactive brokers, the Giro, and eToro. As a general rule of thumb, I would suggest you to not just blindly trust what you read in comparison blocks when it comes to financial products, because since they receive commissions from these brokers, they might tend to promote more platforms that pay more. I don't want to lie to you, I also use affiliate links like everybody on the internet. Remember, everything on the internet is an affiliate link, but I'm really as neutral as a person can be. All right. To give you an overview of some of the most important names, we have Interactive Brokers, eToro, DeGiro, Scalable Capital, Trade Republic, Trading212, and some others. I mean, you can even use your own bank to trade or invest, but usually it's not really the best way to do it. Usually. If you read the summaries of the comparison blogs, usually you're gonna find that Interactive Brokers is the best trading platform overall, eToro is the best for commission-free investing and social trading, and the Giro is best for zero commission CTF trading. Now, although some things are true, for example, eToro does offer a particular tool for traders, which is the so-called social trading and copy trading, not everything you read is true. For example, when they talk about the Giro, they make it sound like trading ETFs there is free. But it's not. It doesn't have an official commission for ETF trading, that's true, but it has a one euro handling fee for every transaction. When it comes to simple trading of stocks and ETFs, the Giro, Scalable Capital, and Trade Republic charge one euro fee for every transaction. Other than that, there are no other fees like withdrawal or inactivity fees. By the way, if you want to bring the transaction fee to zero, Scalable Capital and Trade Republic also offer savings plan with zero commissions. Namely, if instead of purchasing an ETF, with a single transaction, like you buy it once, you automate the purchase so that it happens automatically, let's say once per month, then you don't even pay this one euro. On the other hand, platforms like eToro or Trading212 don't charge any fees on transactions. So now you might ask, why shouldn't I just choose one of these two so that I can save the transaction fees? Well, one of the reasons is that there is one thing that websites usually don't explain, and that is what happens to my portfolio if I decide to leave the platform and move to another one. And that's actually one of the doubts that I always had when I started investing because I asked myself, okay, I'm gonna try one app. I don't like it. Maybe I already invested a couple of thousand euros. What am I gonna do with the money? Like, how can I just change it and go to another one? It's not so easy. So let's say that you start investing with Trading212 and you buy stocks and ETFs for a while, and then you decide that you don't like the platform and you wanna move your portfolio to a different one. Well. Here is where brokers like Interactive Brokers, eToro, and Trading212 
are, in my opinion, disadvantages. In fact, by researching these brokers, you find out that you're not allowed to transfer your funds to another broker. For example, Trading212 simply writes that share transfers are not yet supported. Therefore, if you have existing assets, you will need to sell them first. Selling them, though, is not such a great way to build wealth, because you're going to have to pay capital gains tax, which in Europe can go from around 15% to as high as 25%, like in Germany. And this is actually really bad if you're a long-term investor because if you have a portfolio of like half a million euros and you're forced to sell, you might even have to pay 50,000 or 100,000 euros in tax depending on your gains. Same is for eToro, that simply tells you that it doesn't offer the option of moving open positions. And for interactive brokers, it tells you that you can under some circumstances. On the other hand, Trade Republic, the Giro, and Scalable Capital all allow you to move your portfolio to a different broker anytime. All right, now that we've defined which broker allows you to transfer your investments to another broker, let's see how the actual process of purchasing a stock works and if it's safe. In general, when you purchase a stock or an ETF on a trading platform, you are the so-called beneficial owner, namely the person who ultimately owns and controls the shares. Nevertheless, the shares are usually held in a segregated so-called omnibus account on behalf of you by the broker, which is called the owner on record. Segregated account basically means that it's an account that is separated from the funds of the broker itself. Usually it's owned by a so-called custodian that is not the broker itself and therefore is protected in the event of bankruptcy of the broker. So let's say that you buy 100,000 euros of stocks with the Giro and for some reason, maybe bad management, the Giro starts losing money and goes bankrupt. Well, since your investments are not under control of the Giro because they are in a segregated account that is not even in the name of the Giro, your investments are safe. So investments are usually protected no matter how big they are. A different situation is for the cash that you hold in your brokerage account. When you open an account for investing, you're not necessarily using all your cash right away for purchases. Instead, you probably leave a part of it as liquidity so that you have it ready for investment opportunities, just like Warren Buffett does. Well, in the European Union, the so-called deposit guarantee schemes protect your savings held in banks or financial institutions up to 100,000 euros. So in case the trading firm would go bankrupt and you held more than 100,000 euros in liquidity, you'd only receive 100,000. A plus point here is for eToro, which instead protects them in their entirety. But now, since we're talking about eToro, there is a negative point for European investors that you need to be aware of. Usually with other apps like Trade Republic, the Giro or Scalable Capital, you buy a stock by literally clicking on the buy button. You decide how many shares you wanna buy and you click buy, just like when you buy something in Amazon. So the process is really a buy process of a stock or an ETF. But eToro, eToro makes it more complicated because it introduces the so-called contracts for difference. A contract for differences, CFT, is a financial contract for which you don't actually buy a stock or an ETF, but instead you essentially make a price bet as to whether the price of the asset or security will rise or fall. So you don't actually own the stock, but rather you receive revenue based on the market change on that asset. I'm not gonna go into detail about CFTs in this video. Let me know if it's a topic you wanna have explained in another one maybe. But one important point about CFTs is that you can trade with leverage. Leverage means that you can amplify your gains, but you can also magnify losses. So why is this important for European investors interested in eToro? Well, because eToro doesn't really allow European investors to actually buy ETFs. Instead, you're forced to use CFDs, which in my opinion is something that only an experienced investor should do. If you read the help section of eToro, you see that next to CFDs, you can also purchase real assets, like real stocks or real ETFs. But if you click on ETFs, you find out that all US ETF positions opened by clients from Europe or from UK are only available as CFDs. All right, let's get now to the actual sign-up process so that you can finally start investing in stocks and ETFs. We're going to use Trades Republic here, which is the one that I personally use the most but as I said, if you want to use another one, you're going to find all the links in the description below and the sign-up process is pretty much the same. The first thing you need to do is to access Trade Republic. And you can do it either by scanning this QR code with your phone, which is the easiest way, or by clicking in the link in the description below, which is www.rickdago.com slash traderepublic50. After downloading and opening the app, you're going to get a page where you can click sign up. But before doing that, if you slide to the right, Trade Republic shows you the basic features like investing for one euro per trade, starting a free savings plan with zero fees, investing in crypto, or investing in derivatives, which I suggest you not to. It also tells you that the account is secured and regulated. So by clicking sign up, you get to a page that asks you for your country of residence. By clicking here, as you can see, there are many countries available in the EU, and also a list of unavailable countries, including the UK. After choosing the country, let's go on, and it asks you for your mobile number to confirm the account. I'm just gonna write a fake number here. You should write the right one, of course, because it will send you a code 
that you have to enter then. So after you receive the core, you can enter it here or you can allow Trade Republic to just pick it from your phone automatically. And then you need to set up a pin and confirm it. You can also set up biometric identification if you want, which I strongly suggest. And now we have created the account and there are only three other short steps to do. This is, by the way, the same routine that you're gonna have to go through when opening an account with any of the other brokers. You create the account, you provide personal information, you verify your identity, and you sign in to the terms and conditions. Let's go quickly through the steps. You write first and last name, as well as date of birth, click continue and insert your email address so that you'll have to confirm it on your email then. Then you insert your street that I will just make up now. I have no idea where this place is, but whatever. They ask you where you were born, where you pay taxes, and if you have experience with stocks, ETFs, and derivatives. Verifying your identity is easy. You're just gonna have to take a selfie and a photo of your ID, and a service team will confirm your identity pretty quickly, usually within a day. After the account is confirmed, the first thing you need to do is to deposit money which is extremely easy. And now let me show you how you can buy a stock or an ETF. Down here you have four tabs. The first is your portfolio. And the second tab, which is the magnifying glass symbol here, is the one that you're gonna to use to search and purchase ETFs and stocks. Here you have different ways to find stocks. You can either explore all stocks and ETFs available or use the ETF finder, which asks you for a couple of questions to see your interests and suggest you possible ETFs. And from here, you can already invest in them if you have the money. But let's go back now because I wanna show you that you can also just write an ETF that you already know and you want to buy through the search bar. For example, if I wanna buy something from Vanguard, I just write Vanguard, click OK, and get all the ETFs listed here. Let's click, for example, on S&P 500 ACC, where ACC stands for accumulating, and it means that the dividends are automatically reinvested in the fund. If you instead choose DIS, which stands for distributing, you get the dividends as cash. All right, when you're inside an ETF or a stock, it's pretty straightforward. You can see the performance, and you can click on sell or buy. If you wanna buy and you have liquidity in the app, you can do it in different ways. You can buy entire shares like one or two or 100, or you can click on the top right and instead of shares, you can choose a fixed amount like 30 euros or even savings plan. You also have the options to buy with a so-called limit price, which means, for example, if the S&P 500 is trading at 76 euros and you think it's going to get down to 70, you can set a buy with a limit price of 70 euros and the app only buys for you the ETF as soon as it reaches 70 euros. All right, the third tab, the two arrows, is for setting up savings plans. So you can set up a recurring investment, for example, for ETFs, and then you can either let Trade Republic help you find an ETF, or if you already know what you want, you click skip here and you look for it yourself. When you found it, you'll be prompt to choose how often you want to automatically purchase this ETF, when you want to purchase it every period, and in the end, the amount that you want to invest every period. Then you confirm the saving plan and it's done. Trade Republic will periodically buy for you the ETF and you don't have to take care of anything while your portfolio grows. Of course, depending on your country, you can also use the Giro Scalable Capital. You will find, of course, all the links in the description below. And you can also use Trading212 or eToro if you want. And you don't mind the fact that you can't move your investments elsewhere if you don't like the platform. And in particular for eToro, also the fact that you have to use contracts for differences instead of buying real ETF. All right, guys, that's all. The only thing that you still should do if you want to invest seriously is to subscribe to my channel because as a European investor like myself, which invests strongly globally and in the US, you'll always receive from me also the European alternatives to the US stocks and ETFs that I talk about. Well, if you watch until this point, guys, thank you so much. I hope it was helpful and I'm looking forward to meeting you again in the next video. Ciao.